Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, man. Young Dre and this motherfucker. Playing as clean as. God of War on the fire, you dig? Just chilling and shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Just started this shit, man. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Alright, go on. Trust in the spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But if there's even a chance, don't you want to see Mom again? Of course I. She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again, just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I. I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Ed, you are full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? You just insulted you. Yeah, I got that. So you want a cork up, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Brunia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Ace. A pretty story, but... No. Brunia, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure. But also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. What's there? I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. He laugh? Oh no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrungnir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hrungnir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like <laughs> one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. Hmm. I don't even know if I said it though. Yeah. Just uh started this shit, man, so let's get to it. Alright, go on. An F where?
Back in the boat. Why the fuck is it all locked, dude? I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Gernungagop, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man, and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. And we'll pick this up later. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling. It. it is a priceless relic, after all. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, <laughs> I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Mm -hmm. So small you can't even see them. I kill you. It's true. And... They get inside you, they make you sick. But uh -huh. me, there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. Damn, hella XP.
And what do you have your eye on? Pardon Spartelheim. Back to you. Damn it. To this garbage. Master Atreus, how may I serve? Damn. Yeah, hundred and thirty six thousand. Shit is real nice to. Shall it be? Well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. Damn these motherfuckers. I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know, we only got one side of the story. But come on! His own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but... Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah. A little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No. I imagine not. Yeah, where the fuck is that shit, dude?
There's something down there. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get through? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. My thought as well. Last of them. Yeah, yeah. I am Jonas Bitch. Be right back. Go on.